Hello, welcome back to my channel and today I will be discussing the newly released Corolla GR or GR Corolla, whatever they call it. Uh, as what you see on the title text, it's the, the GR Corolla, is it too little too late or better late than never? I mean... Since when was the last totally serious Corolla has ever graced in the world? I think it was the the Toyota WRC, the Corolla WRC, that was basically a carryover from the Supra uh, Celica GT4, and it was an E110 generation or eighth generation Corolla, but. It wasn't a road legal car, so. So, what I don't get about Toyota nowadays is that if they know that the Yaris GR is not going to be coming to the U.S., why can't they just co-develop the Corolla and the Yaris together, since they were sharing the same powertrain and the same all-wheel drive system? The same Saturn diff. You can get all the information about in regards to the Corolla GR in other videos out there. I'm not talking about how awesome the GR Corolla will be. It's going to be awesome. All I can say is bravo to Toyota for building a car like that. But my question is, this is in regarding to the U.S. market. We'll talk about the U.S. market first. Okay, good. The STI is gone. Basically, it's going to be a leftover corpse at, when the GR Corolla comes out. So, in my in my take on this, it's just that there's no more Evo, there's no more STI, and there's no Focus RS. So, what's the... GR Corolla's main competition now. The Golf R, the Golfer, on which is a budget Audi S3. Yeah, uh, I'm grateful that the GR Corolla is arriving in the US to compensate the lack of Yaris here in the US which is our Yaris in the US is basically a Mazda 2 with a with a goopy catfish front basically in the rest of the world they will get the Corolla GR alongside with the Yaris GR like I've heard this from my friend back in the Philippines saying that the GR Corolla will be arriving in the Philippines so we're talking about the Philippine market now that just like the Civic Type R there's no regular version of the Corolla or Civic hatchback so a couple of my videos ago I showed you guys about the Corolla XSE or they can badge in the Philippines as the Corolla RS I mean there is no Corolla hatchback in the Philippines right now there is no Civic hatchback in the Philippines right now either. So, I mean, in the Philippines also doesn't even have the the Focus RS. They don't even have, and then, sure, they have the SDI. And then the Evo has been in six feet under for quite some time. So, and there's no I-30N in the Philippines or Elantra N. Hatchback Elantra GTN in the Philippines either. They have the Veloster Yara. Okay, cool. No problem. Front wheel drive though. It's not a direct competition to the to the GR Corolla. Nor does this uh the Civic Type R. Sure they have the same powertrain, but of course the it's all about the world rally thing. I just don't get it. I mean, Toyota should have just made the GR Corolla alongside the Yaris GR. You know? 
I'm just ranting because, I mean, in the world of force feeding us with electric vehicles, I know it's like a ray of light for Toyota to bring the GR Corolla. It's not going to be cheaper than the 86, the GR86. I bet the dealers are like scheming right now that they're going to put $30,000 markup on those GR Corollas. Especially the GR, the, C, the circuit edition of the GR Corolla. I won't be surprised if I see a markup of sixty to $75,000 on those circuit edition GR Corollas. It's ridiculous. And then, of course, we're experiencing a worldwide of automotive shortage because of the chip thing. I don't know. I mean, I think, I think in my personal opinion, right? Most people will say that the GR Corolla is better late than never. I say it's too little too late in my, in, in my personal opinion, because we could have gotten a GR Corolla two years ago. Uh, I'm just saying it bluntly. If Akio Toyota, of all of his wisdom, he's still a he's still a badass in my opinion. But if he could have foresighted this, that there's some markets in the world that don't market the Yaris in in their home market, especially in the Philippines, we have the inferior Yaris that looks like a a stretch of mouse the xp 150 yaris or vios what you call it in which is completely different yaris compared to the european japanese xp 230 or 210 yaris i don't know i mean sure philippines got the gr yaris already it was sold out of course it, the elites will just buy it. Good for them. Good for them. And then I heard that rumors that Toyota Motor Philippines is going to get the GR Corolla. If I have enough press credentials, I want to do a comparison test between those two cars. Sure, the Corolla GR is based on a 1.6 liter three-cylinder Yaris GR engine. With uh, up with a uh, increased horsepower to compensate its heavier weight compared to the Yaris GR, it the GR Yaris is basic is a B segment car, while the Corolla is a C segment hatch. Plus that trick all wheel drive system, which is I kind of like, sixty forty on regular driving. Uh, 3070 on sport mode and on circuit mode it's 50 50 just like most ubers 50 50. So, i mean yeah I, I i like the i like the gr corolla actually it's just the corolla hatchback itself is underutilized in my opinion the the good thing about the GR, uh, the Corolla hatch in the US, we got different flavors of it, especially the one that I showcased back in the LA Auto Show, the XSE, which is a 2.0 liter, 175 horsepower, six speed manual diesel car. But I see of that as the successor of the XRS. Corolla here in the US and it's still a it's no hot hatch it's more of a warm hatch that competes against the Civic uh, hatchback sport here in the US in the Philippines that doesn't exist I keep telling I suggested in my previous videos about the Corolla hatch in the Philippines as Budget as the Corolla Auris. Why? What's the point of 
Holy Corolla Altes on which there's no variation of the Alt of the Corolla in the Philippines. Nah, whatever. You could have just called it Corolla. That's it. We won't have to add Altes in it if there's no other variation. There's no wagon called the Corolla Fielder. There's no hatchback called the Corolla Oris or a two door, which is it doesn't exist right now. Could have called it Corolla Eleven. I know the Eleven name is in China. With with a different fascia and everything. I know it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting off topic here, but I can't wait to see the GR Corolla in person, both here in the U.S. or in the Philippines. But I think it's too little, too late. Especially right now, there we don't have the Focus RS in the U.S. or the ST. So what's going to be competing with? The the Elantra N, okay. The Velostar N, okay, cool. The GTI whatever club sport they're gonna offer, okay, cool. Coro the Golfer. It might be too refined, too luxurious. It's not as raunchy and unrefined as the Corolla GR. The SDI is heading heading itself back to. Uh, go go into the graveyard now. I'll I I I just hope that more vehicles like the GR Corolla exist, not just in the U.S., not just in the Philippines, but worldwide. So uh, enough rambling. Um, I just want to just get it off my system. I also would like to do a video one day in regards to the E1110 or E1110 8th generation Corolla on not a history but my opinions about it so alrighty uh, just if you like this rant uh, rant bites or whatever I call this playlist just have your comments down below. Uh, just follow me in any social media out there. I'm also on Rumble now. Odyssey. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.